Hello and welcome to the birthday gift. This reading is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the first ha half of July. Okay. All right. So remember, energies are uh, fluid. So feel free to re reverse the load. All right. So let's get started. Power. Whew. All right, a lot of you are dealing with a big change right now. Uh, let me pull more cards. Yep, but whatever <laughs> the way things were is no longer that way because of some type of abrupt change, or this is coming unless you make decisions to to change your situation. You're about to experience a um <sighs> all right yep you uh <laughs> you guys are needing to do some type of self-reflection here you need to go within uh there's something about you this experience that you're going through right now is trying to tell you something about yourself and um You're going to experience a huge abrupt change that you have no control over. That's going to cause you to go within and make the necessary changes in your life. So the universe is trying to get you to see something. So the way this works is Things don't, they, they're, they don't happen how you want it to, right? So things are not going the way you want it. Usually, you know, to the, to a, a person, a regular person who's living, you know, a regular life, they got uh, work, they work every day, you know, some people go to school, uh, you know, things that you're taking care of to pay your bills, you, you, you got car note, you got uh, school loans or you know whatever you have you got your mortgage things that you're you're um you're 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 taking care of or that you you need to sorry i'm trying to move this uh so i can move the candle back up um so usually when things stop going the way we want it to go we make changes and that that's what that's what your higher self wants your higher self when you stop being happy in a situation, it wants you to make a change. So most people, what they do is they'll stay in the situation saying, oh, it'll get better or I can tough it through. Or maybe they feel like, hey, look, it's not that bad. I don't really need to be that extreme and make an extreme change. Okay, that's, you're lying to yourself. When you are unhappy in a situation, if, you, if it's a job that you have, you're unhappy, it's time to get another job or start doing something else. Your your higher self is trying to tell you that by uh, having things show up like you don't get along with coworkers anymore, or you you feel like it's difficult, or your boss get on your nerve, or you know little things like that. Those are indicative that you need to make a change, right? A lot of us ignore it and say I'm gonna tough it out. Uh, marriages, if you're unhappy in a marriage, time to make a change. A lot of us say, oh no, you know I'm not. You know, this is, we have a mortgage together. If, if I leave, if he leaves, you know, or she leaves, it's going to change this. It's not good for the kids. Like, we make these excuses, you know. Uh, we hold on to friendships that, <laughs> you know, every time there's gossip and there's drama around certain people, we hold on. We hold on. Um, all of these type of situations are simply trying to tell us we need to make a change in our life. So... Some people heed the warning and they make the change. Some people don't. So that's when the tower comes in. Boop. And it's definitely a tower. It just fell out of my hand like one. Um, this comes in when you don't make the change that you, you're supposed to. Um, now, some tower, 
like you can still experience a tower moment by your own doing. Like when you do change jobs or you move cities or states, that's a tower moment. It's just you did it on your own volition. It wasn't forced. Um, forced tower moments are people who abruptly lose their job and then a, a big domino effect start happening where they can't pay the bills, they lose their house, they lose their home, they lose their marriage. That's a huge tower moment. Usually those are the wake up calls that get people to change, get people to go within. There's something you're ignoring. You've probably been ignoring it for a while. I'm just letting you know you're about to experience something huge that's going to cause you to go within. Now, keep in mind, after tower moments, we actually end up being at a uh, tranquil state where we are at peace. It's just that it gets, it gets worse before it gets better. So I'm just uh, letting you know. That, that's what I say. I'm going to pull more cards, okay? Okay, Ten of Wands. There's some kind of burden you need to put down. Guys, this is, um, there's something you're holding on to that you, um, well, I mean, <sighs> Knight of Swords, um, some of you can be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, uh, I see some of y'all about to put this burden down, though, because you, you, it's almost like you've had enough, and it's like just a big, heavy weight on your back, and you're like, you know, what? I'm going to keep going. I went through this experience. It's um, taught me this. It taught me that I'm about to put this burden down and keep going. So I don't, I see some of you not giving up, and I, and I like that, okay? Um, whoever or the person you're dealing with, look, they, they're coming in as a little bit insensitive um or they 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 see things their way you know it's it's like it's hard for them to see another person's point of view this is um usually a very clever person um they very quick-minded i don't know they <laughs> they're also pretty fearless and they see things in a certain way, which just can come off as if they don't care. You have someone like this in your environment, but people like this come in to kind of teach us something. They're, they, they're usually, we attract these kind of people to go through a lesson. And I, and I feel like there's there's something that you need to learn from this experience here. Something you're supposed to be getting from this, guys. You're supposed to be getting something out of this. Um, hmm. You have some uh, wounding that you need to heal in the higher fence. We have the five of pentacles. It's almost like you're feeling left out in the cold or like you feel like you're not, you don't have enough. You feel like there's something missing. Some of you might be going through um, financial hardships right now. Some of you might be seeking assistance through like a clergyman or some type of institution. Um, you know, it could be like a, a religious leader or just a leader. Some of you could be trying to get, gain some kind of knowledge here with the Iorfant. Um We have Virgo here, we have Taurus here, and then we have the air signs Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. 
So you all could be dealing with any of these signs. But I, I, I feel like you're, you, you, you know there's something bigger to what you're going through. Like you, you know there's something that you need to learn from this. Like, yeah, you, there, there is something you need to learn from this. This, uh, it's urging you to go within. Cause you, you got, it's almost like you have a fear of abandonment or something. Almost like you're not enough unless you have certain things. You know, you, you might have to change the way you look at things. You guys have some type of ingrained system that you were taught since you were younger that's showing up today in your relationship with others. So there's a need to to kind of reevaluate the way you look at things, okay? Um, but I, I do see that... Uh, It's like you want to, you, you, you want to, you want to end this cycle here. You want to end this cycle. Look, you have the, um, you have the ability to, you know, it just, it's going to require you to make a very tough choice, you know, six of wands. Okay. All right. So <laughs> I see you guys getting through it. And the King of Swords. Yeah, some of y'all dealing with an air sign. You have a lot of um, masculine energy down here. But a decision is needed here. You need to make a decision. The decision that you make, if it's in line with your life path, or with where you need to be today. You'll be victorious here with the Six of Wands. I see you being recognized. Um, some of you guys may be wanting to or planning to put yourself out there like in a different than the way you do it now. Um, let me clarify this Six of Wands. But Scorpio, um, just really quick, with all this masculine energy here, whoever uh, you're dealing with, the fool, you're being um, you're being urged to um, to trust and and to take a a leap of faith on a new direction here. If you do this, you're going to be victorious. So what I was saying is, whoever you're dealing with, they seem to have some type of um, influence over you or over how you make your decisions. Because the, there's something about to happen or it's, you, some of you are going through it already. It probably already happened. And it's been a lot. It's been a lot on you. Um, some of you may have separated from a partner, a long-term partner, and you're starting to feel like something's missing. You're, you're feeling like something is missing, but this situation happened so that you can go within. You need to learn to feel fulfilled without someone else. You need to learn to feel self-fulfilled. That's when you're able to have a healthy relationship. So 
if after something doesn't work with someone and then, uh, you know, for whatever reason, you separate. If after the separation you start feeling like you're missing something, like lack, as if someone, as if you need someone to feel much better, because some of you, 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 you think that, you think that if you get back with the person, you'll feel much better. This experience is trying to get you to learn to feel good on your own, not as it relates to someone else. So a lot of you are being urged to start something new. This is telling me if you take that leap of faith, leave all that baggage behind. This is the full card, this is Aries. And you move on, you will be victorious. You'll be victorious, you'd be recognized. So whatever this is that you want to start or you're thinking about starting, it's, it's kind of like putting yourself out there in a way. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know if you're trying to do something online. But you, you're going to be out in the limelight. And I see you being victorious in this. And I do see you actually gaining um, recognition here. Whatever it is, it's going to require some faith, um, some trust. Okay, um, but this, uh, <laughs> this, this requires you to make a clear-cut decision with the King of Swords here. You, you, you need to be sure about it. You need to be sure with this decision you're about to make. You need to use your, your logic here. A lot of you are already doing that inner work, though. A lot of you are already doing that inner work. Be careful when it comes to how we feel about ourselves. You, we don't, you don't want to look at yourself or feel a certain way about yourself as it relates to someone else. That's a that's like a setup, if you ask me, because you that's you're you're not gonna win. There's it's a lose lose. It's a lose-lose. You need to be able to um, look at yourself and feel good about yourself based on how you see yourself, not based on how you show up with others, okay? Um, I picked up the romance. I, I, I didn't really mean to, but I'm going to pull a romance card because I, I picked it up, which means that's what I should do. Release your ex. Oh, man. Okay. So that's that's what some of you need to do. The time has come to clear your energy. So some of you are holding on to someone. Like the chapter with this person is done for now. Usually when this comes up, it's saying that it's a blockage, right? Now it doesn't mean forever. Maybe separation when you're when you're separated from someone, that's when you work on yourself. And then once you work on yourself and you're able to find the self-fulfillment on your own, the person naturally, if if it's the person you're supposed to be with, you naturally draw love in. Now, it may or may not be the this person, but whoever it is, it's going to be what you want. So, that's a win-win. Doing that going within and working on yourself you win no matter what. I know the, the, the issue is that we get so stuck on a particular outcome, like on a particular person. And and I, I want to urge you guys not to do that. Um, you might want to check out my video that I posted uh, last week uh, titled The Real Reason You Attracted This Relationship. Um it kind of clarifies why why we we end up drawing certain people in or we go through certain things, okay? But it's telling you to release your ex, okay? Release your ex and to start something new. Focus on yourself. I know these are not the kind of messages that people like to hear. I, 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 I know this, you know. Um,
But this is what's going to be within your highest good, though. Yeah, it's easier said than done, but if you don't do it, it's going to happen anyway. That's that's the purpose of the tower. So, um, I'm going to do uh, the extended, and I'm going to see what energies will be helpful for you with this, because this is not easy to do. Especially when you have an attachment, an emotional attachment to someone. It's not easy, oh, you know, just walk walk away, leave them behind, and maybe they'll come back. I know that sounds, it sounds, it just sounds, you know. So, just to kind of help you a little bit, I'm, the extended, I'm going to see what energies will help you, okay? If you're interested, uh, the link is in the description box, Scorpio. Um, I hope this was helpful, okay? I want to thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Alrighty, bye-bye.